Doesn't matter what kind of car, truck, or bike you like, you're probably going to find it here at the Cache Valley Cruise in the 2010 edition. And it doesn't matter if you like something old or something new, they're all kind of here, even the big trucks. Oh, you gotta love that powder blue and white Ford pickup truck. How many of you remember that as your first vehicle? Dad's old truck, and you took it out in a camper special with the heavy duty springs and a very classic 37 Chevy uh, coupe. I think they're closing it up so they could go up and see the fireworks on Friday night. Uh, this car actually came from Oracle, Arizona. So they traveled nearly a thousand miles to get up here to the show. And a 55, 56 Ford pickup truck slammed on down to the ground with some big meats. And I've always loved Ford's V8 emblem. Here we have another half Ford half custom, a uh, Shelby Cobra SC, an aluminum bodied car with 427 Ford uh, racing inspired motor in it. And yet another Ford, this one is a Falcon, about a 63 I think, maybe a 62, with a hood scoop, looks like he's ready to hit the tracks, do a little drag racing. And here we have a rather old Harley, and we're going to see in a second, I think, what kind of Harley it is. Yeah, Air Maki, Harley Davidson. And a classic cruiser, 1964 Chevrolet Bel Air. Oh, and an SS 409. She's fine, huh? A Cadillac, a big old long party, party car, if ever there was one. And again, you gotta love the, the emblems and the badges and the grills from the 60s and 70s. And here we have a Dodge, uh, I think that's a Dodge Polara, or I'm not sure if that's, if that's a Dodge Polara or if it's a Roadrunner. I have a hard time telling them apart, I'm, I'm sorry. And we have a 60 Bel Air convertible from Chevrolet. I had one of these as a kid. Oh, pardon me, an Impala, not a Bel Air. A little bit fancier car. And Mercury's answer to the Mustang, the Cougar. So we had sport and luxury combination. That looks like an XR7 model, which was, yeah, it, there we are, an XR7. Cougar, which was Cougar's high performance model, and the 1966 GTO, uh, which is similar to the car we're giving away. We're giving away a 67 GOAT, and but this would be a 389 model. And a 66 GTO is probably the most popular of them all. A four wheel drive Chevy pickup truck, about a 74 perhaps. And a Chicago typewriter, as you pointed out a moment ago, sitting in the back window, so I guess that's Don't Mess With Me. 1958 Chevy. And I love the mix of chrome and gold accents on these cars. And, okay, I'm sorry, I can't identify it. It's well customized. Whatever it is. We've got a big block Chevy, whatever it is. And a 69 Firebird. And you can see the dual quads poking up out of the top of the engine, poking all the way up through the hood. And I guess he's ready to head out on the racetrack as well. Oh, you gotta love the suede. Here we have a Ratfink inspired car. And a, a Chevy or a Dodge pickup truck. Bud's Garage at Holiday, and that is the the classic woodpecker from, uh, oh, I hate it when it fails me, but there's the Rat Fink RF. Uh, Rat Fink, of course, was inspired by Ed Big Daddy Roth, who uh, grew up in Southern California, but moved to Manti a number of years ago where he passed on, but Elaine, his, his widow, has 
comes up and, and is helping keep his memory alive. That rat fink culture is indelibly imprinted with hot rod culture too. And we so, see so many examples of the, of the uh, wild, I guess you'd say, the wild rods. Minimalist, all motor, no frills. And we wrap up, I think, with a Chevy Nova station wagon. And here we have a classy little hauler. And enough room for you and your family, but you still look good going down the road. A classic Dodge pickup truck. I'd say that is a very early 50s or very late 40s with the Necker knob. So you got one hand for your gal and one for the road and a little Dodge four-door sedan. Or is that a Plymouth? Plymouth. I think you're right, a Plymouth. They look a lot the same to me, but the lovers love them. Thanks, Greg.